Hello YouTube, this is sonic 2 kk here and welcome back to another Love 2D tutorial. This is about tutorial Danish, I think. And as you can see from the last tutorial, some time has passed because I spent all that time trying to work out how to do fail systems. I've did it before, but I forgot how to do it. Uh, yeah. Um, well, then just let me make sure some of the stuff from the last tutorial is like, yep, it's all gone because well, it wasn't the last tutorial, but it was from my tests. Uh, so, in this story, we're only going to add about 20 lines of code to our game. Um, and that's going to add saving. Well, actually, it might be a little more or a little less, but let's get started. So, go into the love.com file and set t.author. Well, you don't need to do this, but I'm going to set it equal to. Uh, the Sonic. I oh, know. Yeah, Sonic to KK Bros. Because that is us. We are the Sonic to KK Bros. Uh, this is this isn't needed, but I just like to put it in. Uh, but this is needed. T dot identity equals our game because we were too lazy to come up with a name. Also, leave a suggestion for the name of the comments. Uh, yeah, that's just all I wanted to say. So this, whenever we see a fail, we have to see a fails first. Uh, whenever we see a fails, we must, uh, or we, no, this is where the fail will get saved in. Right, I'm gonna assume you have basic fail system knowledge. You know how fails work, and all that so you know how to get the directory so windows go to your app data folder on mac go to users your name library application support love and if you've ever played any love games you will have uh, maybe some files here but if you haven't ever played any love games you will have no files here uh, and this is where your our game folder will go there's a way to change it but honestly you're better leaving it saving it here uh, it is where it usually saves, and where, that's where people will look for it on the love forms whenever you're ready to submit your game. So, uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, make our file, but first we need to check if the file exists. So, if not love dot file system dot exists uh, scores dot then. Right, so what don't we just do? Well, here we're saying if right, so this checks if a file exists. So we're saying if love the file exists, if this file does not exist, this will return true if the file exists. So this is basically saying if the file doesn't exist, make it. And then we what we want to do is we want to go into our player class and we want to create a new field called high score and set it equal to either nil or zero. I prefer setting it to zero just to avoid errors later. And then what we want to do down here is love.fell system dot right scores dot p dot high score backslash n equal backslash backslash n p dot high score. Now what this is doing is we are writing to the file. The first argument that it takes is the file that you need to write to. This automatically looks in that uh, identity folder in our love directory folder. And then this is what you want to write to it, to, to the file. So we're saying the player's high score is equal to whatever it is not right now. And this is whatever, this is, oh this is a love.update. Ooh, that's, that's a problem. It should go and love that load. Sorry about that. It should go and love that load. Uh, so once we write the file, we have to do four lines in the file. Love lines. Scores that load. Do cert scores lines. And so what did I just do? Because that was kind of fast, what I just did. We make a for loop that says for lines and love.filesystem.lines. This gets all the lines 
in a fan. Uh, in our case, this returns all the lines in uh, uh, the uh, scores.lua file. And each time the loop runs, it will return another file until it gets to the end of file. And each line is stored in the variable lines. And we are inserting uh, each line into the high scores table, which we made up here uh, as lines. And Lua starts indexing at 1. So it goes 1, 2, 3. So line 1, which would be P to high score, will be high scores 1. Equals will be high scores 2. And uh, P to high score will be high scores 3. So in case you could guess what we were running out, p.highscore equals high scores 3. And this sets the high score equal to the value of high scores 3. Uh, now this itself isn't enough. Uh, what we need to do is down in love.update, we need to say if p.score is greater than 2 number, P dot high score then uh, uh, P dot sc high score score P dot score Yeah, so what this does is this checks if because this is a string right here and you'll get an error if you don't say two number because this is a string because it is a line and in a file and a line in a file is by default a string but we can turn it into a number because it is the number value on the other line that's why we had to put it on another line and the equal sign could probably be on the same line but I just like putting it on another line uh, by the way see this method here that I figured out how to do this was on about three days of trial and error, of ripping my hair out, trying to work out how file systems work. And I think I got it pretty good. It's about ten lines or so. Uh, forgetting it, I might even turn it into a library one day. Who knows? Uh, and this sets high score equal to score. And here, I actually forgot to remove this. This just displays the high score onto the screen. Um, and here, we have to write it on exit. Down here, we have to write to the file on exit just so it saves properly. And so, if we run this, see if we get any errors. High score is zero, but then high score is one, two, and three. We loaded. Oh, wait, what? What? I thought I fixed this. No. Oh, God, no. <sighs> Hold on, I'll be back in a second. I don't know what the difference was. Uh, I think maybe I just forgot to write to the file here. But in any case, it uh, works now. So if I like, if I go into my directory or my Love directory, we will have the file our game here and the scores that little file that we created, and here is our code. Um, yeah, and here we just have to do some file IO every time we have a greater score, so it writes. And uh, this won't take up resources because it's only doing it every time we have a score greater than the high score. Whereas uh, whenever we do get a score greater than that's only for like a few milliseconds. But uh, yeah, let me just go over it one more time. So up here we create a table called high scores. And then here we say if the file scores.load does not exist in our identity directory that we set in here called our game. So if the file scores.load does not exist in the uh, our game directory, then we create it. And then we loop through all the lines using a simple for loop and store each line in the value lines and insert each line as a, an index of high scores. Love the file, we write our high score to the high scores file and then we store it in the high scores. We set the high score equal to high scores 3 index, which is the high score number value. And then in here we say, if the player's score is greater than the high score as a number, because don't forget, as a line, it is a string, then we set P dot high score equal to the score, and we write it, and then down at the bottom here, 
we have to write it at the end. Just remember to do that so that your game stays consistent. And then here we have a high score of 5. Let's see if we can beat it. Actually, we can't because of that stupid bug. That's what we're going to focus on fixing in the next tutorial. We're going to focus on fixing that bug because that's getting on my nerves. But yeah. You should feel smart now. Yeah, you can write stuff to the screen and do stuff because you're awesome. So you should feel proud of yourself that you can now write to Fez successfully. If there's any uh, people out there that are uh, big love people and know more about the love Fez system that I do, uh, you can tell me if this method is efficient, if it is compact, if it is good, if it is just normal, uh, if it's really bad, whatever. But I like it, and I use it in Mr. Ball Guy, and hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. My name is Sonic2KK, and I will see you in the next tutorial.